What's up boat lovers? Today we're in the shop and we're taking care of some emergency repairs that we need to get going for some boats that need to get on their way. As you can see, my bench is loaded with repairs. We got boxes here, we got processors here, and we're busy. Stay tuned. All right guys, well, the first thing that we need to start off is I get people to send me things like this and say, what do I need to do? Well, we don't even go that far. We just tell them just to purchase a brand new motor. Yes, if we probably open that up, we probably could tinker around with it. As you can see what happened with this, the customer overloaded it and melted all the brushes on there. There's nothing that we could do to repair that. That completely is garbage. So what we end up doing is just selling him a new motor. As far as that, and this is just a quick, uh, quick, simple repair, just swapping out, but we have customers that send them their old, and we have an exchange program. So this is what we end up doing after we repair this. So the old, the old, but cleaned up. So this is ready to go. Then we got a Smart Actuator 1. They got submerged in water. Somehow, some way, I don't know how it happened, according to him, it was sitting vertically on the bulkhead. The AC broke its line, water went down, and flooded this whole compartment here. So the board got completely destroyed. I'm going through it. I had to put some new components inside here. And water damage does do a big part and things so we end up changing the motors we end up changing electronics inside here so this is going to be cleaned up and it's going to go back to the customer but what we like to do is at least try to do a 24 to 48 hour cycle test on this and this is just by leaving it on we go back and forth within the hour whatever making sure that the system is operating to specs so when it goes back to the customer all he has to do is recalibrate and install and he's ready to go so this is the next thing that's going out on the bench then we got our two EEC 2001s this is the first generation of the full electronic control system the big box is the main processor which you've seen in our videos before and the small little box is our backup the first generation never had any throttle output and it only had shift but no throttle so a customer sends us this and we end up trying to figure out what's going on so this one doesn't even turn on while this one here does turn on but it cycles like it's not receiving power so we have some boards here that come out of the unit all right this is no longer serviceable or or um we have product support from the factory but these are the main units so these are dated okay but what we end up doing is we'll go through the components then the, the components that we see a lot of times the capacitors are the ones that take the brunt they go bad capacitors don't last forever capacitors only have a shelf life of maybe 10 maybe to 20 years the max so we'll pull these capacitors out and we'll double check them and we'll find out the basic ones but on this one here we have a little situation with this one I don't know if you could get into that the customer states that he doesn't have any shift well this little component here took the brunt of it that's not giving him any shift so what we'll try to do is we'll see how far how much time that we have on the bench and we'll replace this piece here and then we'll put this back in the box and we'll try to see if we could fix this board if we could fix this board we'll give him the option of hey this is how much time it's going to take for us to do this or we could sell him one that is already operational which we've already put our time into it all right going back to what i was explaining about the fully electronic first generation uh, controls there's several components in here this is the power logic board and then i have an example here that we go through there is four different boards in here you have your throttle board 
you have your troll board, and then you have the main logic board in here. And then you have your control head module here. So everyone needs to talk and communicate properly, but not just only saying, okay, I have this board that went bad. No, there's major components. This part here in the back is a DC to DC converter. This is no longer supported anymore and we can't get these. So there's only limited supplies to what I could get. So what I end up doing is if I do an update on a boat, I give the customer a credit for his older system knowing that it's working. And I'll take some of those components out, test it and verify that everything is working. And I'll put it into a good working system. So if a customer says, well, I don't have the funds to update, I just want to go ahead and repair what we do. I could do a replacement, send him mine. He'll send in his and I'll give him one of them and I'll program it to whatever it is. These processors were kind of unique at that time because you could actually set these processors to whatever throttle output you want. This one here is set for Volvo Troll and some of them I have man, troll, or cat. This one here is set for man troll, which is MT. So it's not a different board, it's a programming. So that's one thing that was good about these old boxes that you could program the throttle output that you wanted. This one here was set for CT. So Yes, that's how it's programmed. That's how it goes out from the factory. But we could reprogram it for the throttle outputs. So this is what we have. I have uh, Cobalt control heads here on the top that we need to reprogram. The boards went bad. We reordered the parts from Cobalt itself from Canada. So we put them back together. We're gonna program this. This is a station processor that we go through. So we verify that all the solder points here are fine. And then we'll go ahead and test these two capacitors to find out half of the time the capacitors go bad in these and the chip. So we try to spend minimal time repairing, but if we need to get down to the dirty with these older systems that people don't want to just update right now, then we'll go to a point of trying to repair but there's only a limitation on what we could do as far as repairing because it takes our time, it takes products, and sometimes it's easier just to sell him a new system and I'll buy back the old system. And that's one thing that we do. If a customer purchases a new system from us, we'll give them a credit for their old system. So as long as they ship it to us, we receive it, we'll verify that it's in the condition that they say that it's in, and then we'll credit back them the, what we negotiated. On the floor we have our Chicago. This is our Chicago um, job that we're working on right now. Everything is in a box, ready to go. Uh, there's a few things that we're working on right now just to verify that everything is there, all the logistics. When we do something like that, we need to make sure that when we go there, we have everything in hand. The bottom over there goes to PR which is the bottom and the two top boxes are just customers sending in their product while we go over and we evaluate. And this is the table of shame. You know, we got, you know, I mean, back here, we got processor boards that we've actually repaired and we just throw them in a box. We don't even go through them. You know, I mean, we try to be up to speed with everything. I mean, we have components here. I have boards of chips, whatever we need to do. And this part is the part that I was telling you, the DC to DC converter, one left. And this is something that I hold in case of an emergency. And hopefully I could use that in one of my customers' boats. But as you can see, we are very busy in this shop and if you have any questions, guys, like I say, give us a call. We'll be more than glad to uh, take a look at your product. We'll be more than glad to refurbish it if we can. Or, like I say, a customer, you know, we have customers that send in their control head. You know, this is water damage. 
you can see and sometimes it's not worth it it's just better off just to repair it but we can repair it it's just the point of how much you want to spend to repair it so like I say if you have any questions ask us in the, in, in the link below you know just ask us all the questions in, in the comment section below and guys take advantage take advantage of the buyback program that we're having it's gonna be for the next two months if you want to buy a system guys we will be more than glad to sell you a brand new system let us know what you have and if it's something that we could use we'll give you a credit towards your old system so just let us know we are running for the next two months a special okay that we will negotiate with you or we'll try to figure out what you have and if it's worth something to us we'll give you that discount guys if you have any questions let us know in the link below like and subscribe